Level is a graphic item which enables you to regulate the value of the selected variable in a preset range. The preset range is indicated while setting up level. Levels are used for displaying the current variable state or changing the slower state. Let's pass over to the level settings. The feedback property affects on level reaction on presence and its displaying of data received from the equipment. The second property, hit. It indicates if the level sends data or it can only display data by changing the slider state. Minimum and maximum values define level range. Let's pass over to the next property and its direction. Here it is. Direction of the item can be vertical or horizontal. The range type. A data type of the preset range whole or fractional values which level will send. Selection of this property depends on the control variable type. Inversion enables you to change the level state from filled to empty. Level always has two states which can substitute each other depending on their regulation. So now we choose slider. It's an image you see on the border field and empty ones of level and we can select color of the slider. Let's suppose that we need to send only a particular value and we don't need to display the state of the control variable. In this case we should select the momentary feedback. What I'm doing now, feedback is momentary. It indicates the range in this, then we have to assign a command. The command must change the controlled variable state. While assigning the command, you will see a dialog window where you have to select the send data event. Working with level, you always have to select the send token event. This event means that the variable will receive a dynamic value defined by current slider state, not the fixed value indicated in the properties for sending. Recommended events for sending while working with level are the press event, the release event, and their combination allows to avoid overload of the controlled equipment. There is also the move event, which receives and sends all intermediate values received by level. Don't use the move event if the equipment you use doesn't have high speed of receiving and sending data. Then we should confirm creation of a new command by pressing the OK button. And let's finish setup of this sample item. So next variant of using level is creating level which both sends commands to equipment and displays the current status of the variable it refers to. This level operates the command and the feedback channel. For setting up this item, let's select the channel feedback, which will change the level state according to the current state of the controlled variable. Let's define the regulation range and pass over to dragging commands. Just like in the previous case, a command must be assigned by the send to token event the sending event is press and release. But here we also need the feedback channel which will display the control variable state will send data to. To receive the data from that variable we are sending the value now we are using the create a feedback channel. So we tick it. This command will create the feedback channel with the same properties this command will assign this channel to the in-value event automatically and it will enable changing the slider position of level by changing the current state of the variable. 
So now we have to confirm assigning commands on the press and release events, confirm the new channel event, and we should close the dialog window. Now we can see commands and feedback channels in the Relations tab. The command on the press event, the command on the release event, and the feedback channel in the Relations tab, which will affect the slider position. And now let's pass over to the next variant of setting up level, a graphic item which can only receive data from control equipment and can't send any commands. This level must be inactive, that means the user can change its position while pressing on it. Only such level can be affected by the controlled variable. If you want the item to be inactive to presses, you have to change its reaction type from hit to display only. We should go to general properties window. And here we choose display only. Now we have an item which only displays received data. Now let's define its regulation range and assign a channel to the item which must affect the slider position. And the in-value event is assigned to the channel to affect the current slider position. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention.